Hey gang, what's up? St. Cross here with another YouTube video or a series of YouTube videos. Um, this time I'm going to try and handle 1 million capacity content. Um, as you can see, I'm at 868. I was actually much lower when I first completed the content, but, but in my previous recording, apparently it turned out that I did not have the mic turned on. So, boohoo. Uh, moving forward though, these this is the content that I'm trying to defeat. I'm going to try and show you how how to get past so before this was red for me <clears throat> now it's uh, only yellow because i'm getting closer to the you know to the suggested capacity but this uh is one of the two um last pieces of content available in story mode um the last offering up level 70 gear i tried this one out and died miserably so let's go ahead and work on this instead um i've already cl cleared this out as you can see my clear button is already enabled and i'm going to show you how to f defeat it even if you're at 800k capacity um, there are two things though that you have to uh, be aware of or be able to do um, one is that you need to be able to output an amount of DPS enough to take out mobs quickly because these mobs are going to kill you they hurt really bad they can one hit you if you're not too careful um, especially when they're coming to your, towards you as a group so as you can see, I'm going through the mobs like in my previous uh, how-to video on defeating uh, higher level content. And I'm picking them out one by one, <clears throat> mob by mob. All right, so I've got four mobs here. I want to pick out the middle one. Um, it might, might take a while, but hey. Just be aware of your surrounding, your uh, the amount of uh, space you have. So in the beginning, it can be a little bit tight. Um, because your start point is quite near so open up with your ulti follow up with your next best skill and your other skills to take out the stragglers all right we're almost there um, the central area has quite a few groups so disaster can strike if your uh, companion suddenly decide you know pulls aggro on other mobs that are nearby. Hopefully that won't be the case. I really didn't want to do this a second time because it was a little bit... Ah, good job Azusa. As usual, you never fail to disappoint. Alright, let's keep the DPS going. My ultimate skill is up. Oh, nope, 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 not yet. Not yet. I just need 0.2 seconds and I should be all right. Perfect. All right. Now, Rodan. Rodan is very easy. Um, even at 800k capacity or 820k, I just need to get rid of the mobs that spawn. All right. Now, in the previous attempt, what was um, surprising was that Oh, I didn't see that Night Drake there. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. All right. So Rodan's pretty easy. Um, if your targeting system's working, um, there's a tendency for this to actually bug, to bug out and can be, get pretty nasty. Uh, one time, my targeting system got locked onto that one grudge zombie over there, and I had to go all the way back just to get that Ooh, just to get my targeting back on track well, and sometimes skills don't even fire apparently but all's well all right wait for him to fire and then do the ultimate it's gonna stun him and skill and out all right now in hindsight that doesn't, didn't look like a good idea you know why because Rodan being the big monster that he is has a tendency to block the area all right good thing so you want to lure him to the side um, yikes and not mess up your navigation so I almost did ooh all right so just watch out for that area of effect the linear area of effect um, because if that gets you, you're dead. 
All right. So knowing that there are mobs in the central location and two of them at that, you want to just go back and forth. You could, if you were able to dispatch the one winged mob um, a while ago, but I, I know it's still alive, so I don't want to risk it. Actually, the mobs are harder than the boss or once you get the hang of it. And this is darn hard because um, I'm talking at the same time. Nevertheless, looks like we're right on track. Oops, almost got me there. Wait for him to cast, do your ulti. So yeah, apparently you aren't invulnerable when you're doing your ultimate. And that's something that you should take note of. So the timing is important. Wait for the beam, wait for the animation to go off or else you'll catch a face full of beam uh, of uh, damage. All right, yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, I'm going into the area where I should be all right though. I should be all right, he should die. Yay, all right, got it the first time. No wasted stamina. So the good thing about this is if you have defeated it you don't have to complete it again but because i do youtube and i'm an idiot um i had to re-record this all right so that's the first boss and um i hope this helps you guys out just because there's a suggested cap if it's in within 20 uh, percent of your capacity or capability whatever that stands for give it a shot you might you might be surprised at the fact that you can you know you can actually handle it and start getting gear so last uh last night when i fouled up my recordings i got two pieces of this armor enough to make it purple and um two level 60 swords okay hope this helps ciao oh by the way don't forget to like and subscribe